Hello, Fallout gamers. I was approached by Oxtal. Um, Oxtal. I hope I'm saying your name right. Who approached me with a possible fix. I credited Ritzka from the Steam community of the possible fix to the main thread of the F4SC discussions tab, which I <laughs> looked at previously. And apparently Destruction Errors has found a solution, a workaround to revert Fallout 4 pre-update. So please don't give up hope on your modded files. I'll put the link in the description so you can go through this in detail. So far, um, it's it includes the DLCs too. So there is another um, tip if you're playing in different languages, as stated by uh, Ulrich V23. Oh wait, oh wait, Jaeger confirms that this works with their 300 plus mods. Um, this person got an error for entry point not found error. It could be for a possible DLC that they don't own. Um, I'm not sure. The method works. Um, this person provided Luciano 00125 provided in um, Spanish. And Dr. 08 says the script extender works with the GOG version. Portuguese, everyone, everyone's helping each other. This is. It, it's, it's making me too. <laughs> the copy of the screen running commands. Okay, so follow, follow. So. I, I will leave this link here because. Everyone's being super helpful in this um, thread, and it's it's pretty frustrating that <laughs> you know the first thing people want to do with a Bethesda game is mod it. I mean that should be common knowledge. Not not that the the update is like all that bad, but at least you know at least give some warning to the team of. You know, Fallout London and the script extender. Like, those were the two biggest things that people were waiting for before the announcement of the show. Like, I know it's it's the company's game, and the company has to like set boundaries. But at the same time, it, it's also a community. Thank you, Xtel, for being so helpful and suggesting this to me like coming to me so i can help you know help in some way just for that um i'm gonna leave your card in the description of the video once it uploads and i hope everyone gets everything working